Yo, this is how you connect and set up a capture card in OBS. Let's go. <gasps> We're gonna be using this generic capture card that you can buy off of Amazon. This capture card is excellent. It does 1080p at 60 FPS and it uses USB 3.0 and there's no drivers needed. Links in the description. Step one, unplug the HDMI cable from the back of your monitor or TV. Step two, see on the capture card where it says HDMI input. That's gonna be the input that we'll be plugging in that HDMI cable that we just unplugged from the monitor or TV. Plug that in now. Step three, take a new second HDMI cable and plug that into the HDMI output slot. Step four, take the other end of that HDMI cable and plug it into your monitor or TV. Step five, take the supplied USB cable and plug it into the USB input that's on the capture card. Step six, take the other end of that USB cable and plug it into an available USB 3.0 slot on your computer. You should now be able to see your HDMI output from your console on your display. Now that we have the capture card connected, let's bring it all together and set it up in OBS Studio. In OBS Studio, we're gonna to go to Preferences, and in the left column settings, we're gonna to go to Video, and then in here, we're gonna make sure our canvas is set to 1080p, and also it is set to 60 FPS. In output, we're gonna change this from simple to advanced. First, we're gonna set the recording format to a format that I like to edit in. So we're gonna change it from .mkv to .mov. You can use .mov or .mp4. Those are the two that I would suggest. Next, we're gonna change the stream encoder. Since I'm using an M series Mac, I'm gonna choose Apple VT hardware encoder. If you're using PC, choose whatever graphics card that you have in this dropdown list. Next, we're gonna change our bitrate. So for streaming on Twitch or YouTube, you wanna set it to 6,000 kilobits per second as that's the maximum output that you can do for streaming. For recording, I would set it to something much higher like 25,000 kilobits per second. Now we're gonna add the capture card to OBS by clicking the little plus sign underneath. 